everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hi, I'm Sonia and I'd love it if you could subscribe. And if you're not an existing subscriber, welcome back. So today is going to be my final collection slash inventory video and it is going to be my lip products. Now, I have a lot of lip products. I haven't tried a lot of lip products. I have tried and do love. As I mentioned before in my other videos, there isn't going to be any decluttering in this video because I did a decluttering video at the end of 2021 with all the products I wanted to get rid of. I am going to show you the lip products that go at the back of the drawer here. These won't be part of my numbers and I do have my lip liners in here as well which I do have a separate category for my lip liners in my inventory so I will tell you how many of those I have as well. But let's just get started because we have quite a few things to get through today. I also, you know, you won't be able to see, but at the top here, I, I do also have some lip products in in holders like this. So I will go through those as well. And I will make sure I will try to get all of the ones that are in my projects as well. So let's make a start. And we're going to make a start with the lip balms that go at the back here. So I have a couple of Vaseline lip balms. I got these at in my advent calendar from my best friend. So I have the cocoa butter one, and then I have the rosy lips one. Vaseline is just a really good product for lip balms, and yeah, really happy to have those. I do also keep lip scrubs in the back as well, and I do have a couple of ones from Barry M. I have the mango one, and I have the, the watermelon one. I haven't tried these yet still. I do have the Lush lip scrub in my shower at the moment so I haven't tried these yet but I have heard really good things about these from Catch Up With Care so hopefully I will like them. I then have this one from Ciate. This is the Miss Piggy collection and this is in the Love Moi lip balm. It looks like this. I don't know how this is going to look on the lips whether it's just going to be transparent or it is going to look pink. I do just love the packaging of this and yeah I'm I think I got this from TK Maxx actually. I don't think I purchased this one unless this was the one that came in the kit from Ciate. But yeah, I have that lip balm. And then the last lip balm I have is this one from Benacos. I've just finished an orange one from this brand. And I went through phases of loving it than not loving it. So I'm not sure how I'm going to feel about this one. But I mean, it's always good to have lip balms as backups. However, it does take me forever to use lip balms. I do also just keep a couple of sharpeners in here as well. I think this one's the best one. I did buy this one and it's not great, but I do just keep them here at the front just so I can sharpen my lip liners or any lip products that I have that are pencils. Now let's talk about lip liners. So the first one I have is this one from Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Pillow Talk Lip Cheat in Pillow Talk. I got this in December and I've not tried this yet so it's still in the packaging but I did want that for such a long time. And then I have this one from Barry M. This is the lip liner. I think it's in Runway. Beautiful colour as you can see. Just not a massive fan of pencil lip liners. I find sometimes they can get a bit scratchy. This one's quite old so I can see myself maybe panning this one in the future. I then have this one from Zoeva. This one is the Graphic Lips Earthbound. So I do have the matching lip product to go with this which I will show you soon. But I got this, not this Christmas just gone but the Christmas before. I've still not tried it yet but again another pencil lip liner. I just, um, I much prefer a lip liner that isn't in a pencil. I then have this one from Colourpop. This is the Lippy Pencil in Bossy. I don't like this lip liner. I, But I want to try it more. Just to make sure that I definitely don't. I mean I love a red lip. But for me this one just. It didn't really go great on my lips. Um, I found the payoff wasn't the best. But again I'll just. I'll keep it in just to try it. And if I don't like it I will get rid of it. I then have this one from Delilah. This is a lip line in pout. I haven't tried this one. I think I got this one in a box. Looks like a really beautiful colour though. One I will definitely use. This is the lip liner that I do like. I have that one. And then last but no means least, I have this one which came with a lip product as well. This is the Primark Nudes Lip Liner. This one I still haven't tried. I have used the lip product that comes with it, but 
I just, for a period of time, I didn't really use lip liners. They're not really something that I feel is a necessity in a collection, but I do really like the lip product to this, so when I do get around to using that one, I will try and use this, because it's not a huge lip pencil anyway, so it's not gonna take a long time to use. And then the last one, which is in my project at the moment, is this one from Diego Dalla Palme. This one, I don't know what the shade is. This is the one I'm using at the moment. It does need a bit of a sharpen. I am working my way through this one. Hopefully I will have this one done this year. Including this one, I have seven lip liners in my collection. I have a feeling I've definitely increased that because like I said, lip liners wasn't something I used a lot and it's not really something I want to keep increasing. I, I got majority of these in boxes and special, like, special editions. I got this one from a glossy box Christmas edition. I'm not purposely going out on buying these, but I'm going to see if I can try and use up all of these if I can. Okay, now let's move on to lip products I haven't tried. And trust me, there's a lot to go through. Okay, so let's first start with these. I got a couple of lip samples. These ones are from Laura Mercy, I think, and it came with a couple of like lip brushes, which I just keep in here because when I do eventually get around to using this, I want to try and use those. But I have vibe dominate and fresh so that's fresh dominate and vibe i kept these ones because i wanted to try them i've not tried much from laura mercier with the formula was i think this was laura mercier so yeah i just kept those three to eventually try next one i have is this one from estate this is a lip icing hopefully you can see the color of that this one is in down so i've tried a couple of these estate lip glosses and i think majority of them i did get rid of because i just wasn't a huge fan of the formula i thought it was quite old school with lip gloss but i kept this one because i think it's pretty again i need to try this though and if i don't like the formula of this one either which i have a fear that i might not if it's the same like the other ones then i will just pass this along but i at least want to give it a go and then have a couple of these ones from w7 and these are the better to pout liquid lipsticks and this one is in sugar cookie this is such a pretty pretty color i'm just gonna turn my ring light down a bit because I have a feeling these colours aren't coming up very well because it keeps reflecting. Yeah, this is a really, really pretty colour, something I haven't used yet. I don't I haven't used any of them, so I don't know whether I like the formula of this. But this is this is usually the colour I do gravitate towards. Next one I have is this one from Iconic London. This one is in this is just the lip pumping gloss in Tickle Your Fancy. I got this one at Christmas in a little kit that I got from my partner. I haven't tried any of the Iconic London lip glosses. I'm not going to keep saying I don't know what I think to any of these because these are the ones I haven't tried. So I'm not going to keep saying that. <laughs> The next one I have is this one from Laritzi. I think I've got a couple maybe of Laritzi products in here. This one was the most recent one I got. This one's in Kev. I think I got this in the December Discovered Beauty box. And this is what this one looks like. It is so pretty. I love that colour. So I wanted to keep this one. Some of these I kept in the packaging, some of them I didn't. This, so here's the other Laritzi one that I have. This one is in Peach Sand. I get a lot of these Laritzi, well I get a lot of these lip products really from beauty boxes but sp specifically the, these Laritzi ones. Laritzi's been a brand that has appeared in beauty boxes a lot in 2021 but again that's that's another colour that I will use. I have another one of these W7 Better Pout, again another beautiful colour. I did get rid of some of these because it came in a big set and a lot of the colours were the same so I did pass some of them along. This one is in Gingerbread. This looks quite pink for gingerbread. I thought that one would have been more gingerbread, but another colour that is something I would wear a lot. And I think the last one I have of these is this one, which is a bright red, which if you know me, you know I love a good red. And this one is in Cinnamon Spice. I'm hoping this red is going to look like this on the lips because that is going to be... That's going to be a beautiful red if so. I then have a couple of these ones from Laura Mercier. These are just little minis. This one's in a la rose and it looks like this. So really, really pretty pink. And then I have this one, which is in Rouge Ultimate, which is a beautiful red. I did get another one of the Laura Mercier ones in the a la rose. And I give that to my sister because, I mean, Laura Mercier is a good brand, but I don't need two of the same shade. I then have, I think, a couple of these from Elle Masca as well. 
Um, this one is in Bang. This one I'm not sure on. I think this is just going to be one I'll have to see because I don't really gravitate towards brands that much. So I'll just have to see what I think to that one. I do have another one of these Laura Mercier ones. This one is in... Oh, I'm going to butcher that. So hopefully you can see that. <laughs> A really pretty colour. And I've got another one down here as well. This one is in this shade. That would be so pretty for spring and summer, that one. Okay, now I have a full-size Ella Masca lipstick. This one is in Rocket. This is a beautiful red. I think I might have tried this once, maybe. And I put it back in this section because I still didn't know what I thought to it. And with these ones that usually sit down here, which we'll go into soon, I don't... If I want to try something new, I obviously don't gravitate toward, towards those. I gravitate towards this section. So I wanted to keep this in here. So if I did fancy wearing a red lip, I could try this one again. Next one I have is this one from Wet n Wild. This one's a more recent purchase, even though I did not I did get this in October last year. This one is in Wine Room. It looks like this. Really pretty colour. I have a lot of colours though that are the same as you can see. I have quite a few Fenty lip glosses because I got a set at Christmas but I have also just bought some as well. So I have all of these to go through right now. I have this one. So this one is the cream formula. I did pick up the set at Christmas. I think that was from Boots. I got one set for my sister and I did pick up the lip gloss set because I really, I love, love, love this lip gloss formula. I've not tried the cream one though. This is, this is what it looks like. This one's in can, candy milk. Looks absolutely beautiful. These gloss bomb formulas, I absolutely, absolutely love these. So this one is in Champ Stamp Fantasy. That one's going to look so pretty. I have this one in Hot Chocolate Fantasy. I think it's Chocolate Fantasy. And then I have this one in Fenty Glow Fantasy. They're all so pretty. And then I, this is the one I got from my sister, another cream one. This one is in Peach Pout. So yeah, I do really like this formula. I do have one in my other category, which made me fall in love with these. Yeah, I have a, I have quite a few of these and I did just get another one in my FabFitFun, which you would have seen because that's going up before this one. Um, but I'm not, I'm not putting it in here because I haven't put it in my inventory yet. I need to make sure I've got all the numbers here to be able to tell you at the end. I think something that's meant to be a dupe for those is this one from Revolution. So this one is in Daydream so beautiful this i have tried another one of these i do have to say the formula of this one isn't as good also the smell of this one isn't as good but i mean they're still nice they are still nice products just not i think if i had to choose between them it would always be the fenty ones then i have a couple of pat mcgrath lip glosses so i have this one which is pale fire nectar gloss beautiful and then I have this one, which is Dare to Bear. So I do have a third one, but again, I think I've tried that one. So I put it in my other category. I know I'm going to like these. I do seem, I do like a lot from Pat McGrath. I haven't got a huge amount from Pat McGrath, but what I have got, I do really like. I haven't got any of her lipsticks, but the lip glosses I have tried, I do really like. Then I have a couple of the Sleek Matte Me's. I love, love, love this formula this formula lasts all day i nearly had the full collection before because i just bought all of them but yeah i have this one which is bittersweet and then i have this one which is french fancy i just love 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 that formula it can be a little bit drying but i don't mind that because i I find that they last so long throughout the day and that's exactly what I'm looking for in a liquid lip. I then have this one from Soap and Glory. This one is in Plums Up. I think we got this one in a glossy box. I have this one from NARS. This one is in Dolce, Dolce Vita. I think I'm saying that right. <laughs> I think I got these from Latest in Beauty. I think both of them I've got. I got this one from Latest in Beauty as well. This one's a Nabla liquid lip in My Rules. I think there was a few different options of this, but I just thought that this one was the nicest one. I then have this one, which again, I got from Latest in Beauty. This is Studio 10. This one is the Lip Perfecting 
Balm Gloss in Bellini. I've had this a long time and I used it once, but that was going back like beginning of last year, so I really don't know what I think to this. Um, but I have seen this brand a lot more recently. I have this one. Now, I cannot remember what this brand is because it's not it doesn't say it on the packaging um but this one is i think that's the name of it i got we got this in a glossy box this is so nice i've got a highlight from this brand as well and i really like that one as well this is a really 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 beautiful red but i'm biased because i love 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 reds i then have this which is a lip dew tinted lip balm now i should really have this at the back but because it's tinted i thought it might be something i can keep in here and just use as a lip product i don't know what the color is because i haven't opened it this was a more recent i think this might have been in january's glossy box i think but yeah it's a i'm keeping it in this section i then have a couple of lip oils and again i think i might actually put the lip oils at the back this one's a tinted lip balm but these ones i don't think have any color i don't think this one is from the beauty crop and this one is from julep beauty so i'm going to put those ones at the back actually because i will just use these as tinted lip balms i just have a few more for this this category the first one i have is this rimmel lipstick in drop of sherry this one is so beautiful so beautiful i just haven't had a chance to try it yet which is the case for all of these <laughs> i've got this one from revlon in rose wine it is really really beautiful and this is a really really pretty color anyway i think i got that in a i want to say glossy box but it might have been another one of the boxes last year i then have this one i've not i hadn't heard of this brand before before i got it in discover beauty it is makeup 54 and this one is in disco red jerry another red which, like I said, I'm not complaining because I do love a good red. And then last but no means least, I have this one from BH Cosmetics. I got this in a mystery box. And again, this one's a red. This one's in glory. Beautiful red. Beautiful. However, sometimes, especially like with this one, I don't know whether it's going to be drying. Any liquid lips or anything that's drying, I will just get rid of because I don't want dry lips. <laughs> So that is all of my ones I haven't tried yet. Now I'm going to talk about the ones I have tried and I do like. So I have two, two little ones to go through here. So the first one I have is this one from Inica. I had this in my Project 10 uses last year. This one's in Rose Petal. This is a really, really nice lip pencil. It's really creamy. I didn't think it was going to be as creamy as what it is. It's a really, really pretty colour. That definitely is more autumn winter though color wise i have quite a few of these sleek matte me's <laughs> this one is in shabby chic i love this one beautiful beautiful color i got these from my parents these like little mini ones in a set at christmas a few years ago now really really like i said really like that formula the lip product i was referring to earlier that has the matching lip liner is this one and this one is just called nudes <laughs> so this is a lip gloss but it goes on more like a liquid lipstick. I really like this though. I really like the formula. It's really comfortable. I was very surprised because I just, I think before I just thought Primark makeup was going to be bad. But it really isn't. Everything I've tried from Primark makeup has been amazing actually. So yeah, that one is really nice. I got that as a gift from my sister. I then have this little Bare Minerals one in Courage. Again, like I said, I do love a red. So if a red isn't uncomfortable on me or isn't like a weird looking red on my skin tone, I keep it. And this is just a mini, but it still has quite a lot of product. And I just, I liked this one, so I kept it. And it's perfect size for traveling. I then have this one from Bobbi Brown. This one is a crushed oil infused gloss in New Romantic. A pretty, pretty lip gloss. I do find that this is quite a thick lip gloss but it's beautiful nevertheless so, obviously, so i've kept it i do have a couple of nyx products so this one is the liquid suede in soft spoken these are comfortable i do like them i do need to go through some of my collection though because this color suited me before but i think my preferences have changed now my beauty a to z i have a 
product from Rimmel which I'll show you soon that I think just doesn't really suit me anymore and um, I just need to go through some of my collection just make sure that all of these I do like but yeah I do really like this NYX formula the liquid suede isn't my favourite I much prefer like soft matte lip creams and yeah this one is still good talking about those I have this one in cans I love this I've I found myself reaching for this one like if I'm if I'm looking for a lip product that I know I like beautiful beautiful colour look at that and then I have another NYX one here this is the lingerie in bedtime flare again this used to be another one that I used to just reach for a lot for some when I knew I needed something that I knew looked good on me I really do like this NYX formula I, I got a lot of these a lip advent calendar a few years back next one I have is this one from elf this one is in this shade hopefully you can see that this is such a nice product it is really hydrating it's a really nice color this is something that I feel like you could keep reapplying and it's just gonna make your lips feel really moisturized I really like that. That was something I found at the end of last year that I really did enjoy. I then have this one. This one's a NARS product. This is the Tlaid lipstick. I had this in my Beauty A to Z last year. I didn't finish it. My intention was never to finish it anyway in that project. But yeah, I do like this product. It's not, like I said, not an absolute favourite, but it is one I do like. Here's the Fenty Gloss Bomb that made me fall in love with this formula. This one is in Sweet Mouth. The smell of these are just insane. And I just love the formula. I don't really like lip gloss, if I'm honest. But this lip gloss, if I could only ever have one, it would be this formula. I then have this one from Eufra. This one is in Nude Potion. I got this in a cohorted box. This one's okay. It's it is a little bit drying, but it's still okay. It's I wouldn't really say again my favorite, but it is something I am happy to keep. And then I have this one by Rimmel. This one is I think in Rosetta. Again, just a really really beautiful nude color. I find myself gravitating towards stuff like this when I want something for the like office when I wasn't doing project planning. Okay, and then my last section here at the back of ones I have used, I have this one from The Balm, Meet Matt Hughes. I actually wore this on my birthday. I've loved this for years. Now, this isn't the one I've had for years because it did start, my other one did go off. So I repurchased this one. This one's in Committed. This smells like After Eights. Now, I don't really like mint chocolate, but the smell of this is insane. The formula is nice. It is a little bit drying, but it's like a comfortable dry, if that makes sense. I just really, really, really like this. I wanted to, tr I wanted to get more colours of this, but I really, I don't, I just don't need any more. Do I? Let's be honest. I then have this one from Revlon. This is the Ultra HD in HD Kisses. I think it is. I got this in like a gift with purchase type of thing. This is nice. It's a night. It is a really really beautiful colour. I haven't used it a huge amount since it's gone into this section but I did like it when I did try it. Here's the other NARS pencil that I got and this one is in Doomy Baby. So it looks like this. This is a little bit darker so again something I'd more reach for in autumn winter but I do I do like that formula and again it's good it's a good size for travel. So I have this one and this one is in That So Fetch now i already have this in a project but this isn't the one that's in the project this one i got from my best friend in my advent calendar i i mean i love this color i it used to be my go-to for quite a long time and i'm just glad to have another one as a backup here's the other pat mcgrath lip gloss that i did try this one is in divine rose this is it's beautiful absolutely beautiful i then have another nyx soft matte this one is in copenhagen not what i use all the time this is the only dark color i think that i'm i think i have in my collection it's not a color i gravitate towards a lot but i do want to ha at least have one in my collection for when i do want to wear this color here's another one of those shimmer bombs this one is in distortion this one is similar to well that is in the same line as this one i've tried this one like i said that's how i know i i think it's meant to be like one of the fenty lip glosses it's okay i mean i don't know if you get more products than this it looks like you do but whether you actually do i don't know i then have a couple of mac products i have chili 
beautiful red. And then I have a little mini. This one is in well. So again, I'm not sure whether I'm going to keep this one because this one's a little bit more brown than what I would usually go for. But I have tried it and obviously I've kept it. But it's just something I think when I go through and have a look again, is it going to be something I will keep? And then have another one of these matte me's. This one's in Rioja Red. I think that's how you say it. I've used this one so many times for a red that I know works and lasts. Love that. I then have this one. This one is from Real Hair. This is the I Will Succeed liquid lipstick. Pretty colour. I then have this one from Laura Geller. This one is in Brilliant. This is what the colour looks like. Just a perfect everyday colour. I don't remember being wowed by this one. But it was still, it was still nice. And then last but no means least, apart from ones I'm going to get out in a second for my project, I have this one. And this one is the Zoeva Liquid Lip in Faint of Heart. So that goes with the lip planner I referred to before. I can't remember trying this actually, so I think I might put it back into this category just to see what I think about it. I'm just going to get the ones from my projects now and then I'm going to move to the ones that are up here in the containers. Okay, so I have this YSL one. This one's in number 10. This one's in my 22 in 2022. This one I feel like can make me look like I've got concealer lips unless I wear it with a lip liner now. But I mean, this was expensive when I bought it, so I want to get use out of it. I have this one from Beauty Bay. This one's in Juice. Beautiful red, but this gets everywhere everywhere if you go out a little bit outside of your lip plan you will have trouble trying to get this off your lips without like getting micellar water or, or a wipe or something and if you eat it can get like on your chin and stuff so it's not my favorite like formula wise but the color is beautiful this is the lipstick i was referring to earlier this is the kate moss rimmel lipstick in rock and roll nude it looks like this i want to finish this product but I just find myself not really liking the way that it looks on me so this might be one I might actually just get rid of because I know I won't use it if it's not something I enjoy anymore. I've already spoke about one of these but this is the one that is in my project. This one is old, very very old so I do need to get working on this and try and get it finished up at some point. And then I have this one, this is the Bare Minerals Bare Pro. I think this one's in Petal. This is beautiful, this is such a beautiful lip product. And it lasts really well. These are This is the colour I always gravitate towards. I have a bunch of Charlotte Tilbury products here. So another one that's in a project is actually this one. So this one is a lip bath in Refresh Rose. I will use these. I like them. But I don't think they're worth the price. These do feel quite minty on the lips as well. But yeah, I'm using it and I'm doing a pretty good job on that one. And I do had, have another one of these, which looks like this. This one's in Peachy Plump. Um, yeah, so once I finish that one, I will get to working on this one as well. Um, like I said, it's nice, but it's not something I think I would go out and repurchase again. I then have this one. I have not tried this one yet, but this one looks beautiful. This one is in Unleash Me. I got this one in a mystery box. I don't gravitate towards this colour a lot. And I think because it's up there, I maybe don't grab it as much as what I should. But yeah, I am looking forward to trying that. I then have three of these like in this bullet lipstick. So the first one I have is Walk of Shame. This one I got in the mystery box as well. Beautiful colour. Absolutely beautiful. I, I do really like this lipstick formula from Charlotte Tilbury. I then have this one, which is very Victoria. This one was my favourite because... It is a bit more neutral. And then my latest one is Pillow Talk, which I did by myself. This was in my advent calendar. I, it's just such a cult classic. I really just wanted it in my collection and to be able to try it, but I've not tried it yet. And then I do have three little minis in this container, which is so cute. So this one is in, hopefully you can see that. I don't think, I'm not sure if you're going to be able to. Viva La Vega. I think that's how you say it. This one colour is beautiful. It is beautiful on the lips. I don't I don't really gravitate towards minis like this a lot because I find they're quite fragile um, and I'm scared they're gonna break. I then have Amazing Amal, which again, really, really like this one. I've used this one quite a lot. I think out of all the minis, I think this is the one that I've used the most because 
it's just a colour I gravitate towards. And then I have JK Magic. Again, I don't know whether this is going to be more one I'll have to have a look at because I'm a bit scared this might make me look like I've got concealer lips. But I just love the way that it looks on my side. Charlotte Tilbury is such a, a pretty brand to display. And then I have these products here. Now, these products are ones I want to pan. At some point, if I roll out any of my products, I want to be able to focus on these. So this one is my oldest lip product in my collection. This one is a Revolution lipstick in Chauffeur. And yeah, this is a really, really nice lip product. I've used it a few times, just not as much as what I should have considering how long I've had it. So I do want to get working on this one soon. I then have this Revolution, I think it's a liquid lip in Rain. I've used this one quite a lot of times actually. Again, this is quite old in my collection, but this one has had a lot more love than the other one. Really, really nice colour, an everyday colour. This one I've had in my project last year and I did use quite a bit of it actually. And this is what it looks like. This formula though is just so moisturising that it just gets absolutely everywhere. So I couldn't wear this when I was wearing a mask because it would just get all over the mask and all over my face. So it's a nice formula. It is very sheer. So it's not it's not as daunting as what it looks in the container. But yeah, not something I would wear if I had to wear masks. I then have another one of these Revolution ones. This one is in Echelon. I'm not sure how you say that. Again, just another one that is really neutral, everyday. Really, really like this one as well. I then have a MAC lipstick. This one is in New York Apple. I've used this a handful of times. Handful. If When I have to pan this, this is gonna take me forever. But it is a really, really nice lip product. I have stopped buying MAC lip products just because I have so many of them and I don't really use them that much. So when I do eventually use some of them up, I will most probably buy some more. But until then, I'm not going to. I then have this one from L'Oreal. This one is in I Am Worth It. This is a really nice red. Again, one I have used multiple times, especially when I'm going out and I want a red. But this is getting old, so I do need to focus on this. I do get a little bit scared when... I need to pan a red because a red is for a specific look and it's usually not an everyday look. So yeah, I will eventually put this in a project. I don't know how long it's gonna take for me to finish. And then I'm on to my last three lip products. So the next one is another MAC one. This one's in Velvet Teddy. I didn't even realize this one's as old as it is. This is my sister's favorite lip product. Um, yeah, it's nice. It's not my favourite, but it is still nice. My favourite MAC lipstick is Brave, but I did finish that one in 2021 in a project. Next one I have is Meh. This one's really pretty. I love the colour of that one, so I'll be happy to pan that one eventually. And then last but no means least, the last lip product I think in my collection is this one from MAC. This is the Alaya collection, I think that's how you say it. I got this from TK Maxx. This one is in Hot Like. Again, another red that I've used a lot and really do like. I actually see this, this is actually more of an everyday red. For me, I have worn this multiple times to the office. It's not too in your face like some reds. I do like this one as well. So that is it. That is my lip collection. This is still a lot. What I will do on the screen is I'll put how many lip products I had January 2021 last year. Now, I am filming this a bit later, but I haven't put anything in here from this month. So... Everything that's on my inventory is what is in here. And I have 82 lip products, which I don't think is too bad. I mean, it's still a lot. <laughs> I mean, that's a lot of lip products. And I'm not going out and trying to purposely buy lip products. But I don't think that's too bad, actually. I'm trying really hard to use products in my collection. And yeah, if there's, any, if there's anything here that I don't like, I will pass along. But yeah, that is it. That is my lipstick collection and that is my entire collection slash inventory videos for this year i will be doing this again next year with numbers as well just to see each year how well i'm doing this year i feel like i didn't do the best because i seem to have bought a lot of stuff in 2021 but i'm not going to beat myself up about it i'm actually have done really well this year up to now i mean i know it's only been two months but i have only bought one makeup purchase each month hoping i can keep on with that because yeah i have a lot of products here 
and I need to make sure that I'm using them. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and it means the absolute world to me if you could subscribe if you don't already. So until my next video, thank you for coming by. See you later.